Such a great little trail. Uh -oh. Annoying another rodent. Sharon Eastern area has some amazing boulder fields. They extend up to Medfield. I haven't really tracked them much north of there, but it seemed like there was a lot of boulder strewing going on in these parts as the glacier started to go away. This is shagbark hickory. And it's got some great color going on. Farewell hickory. Oh, I see Mass Audubon. Sees fit to put their logo on it. And this is an ash. So you have kind of dry slope hardwoods going on.
interesting wetland. This is where everything was initially confusing. You'll note the offset blaze and for those of you who are new, the way the base circuit works, when a the upper blaze of two is set on a tree a certain way, it means we take a turn across that completely charming little bridge. <coughs> and we're joining the Kettle Trail. Now, in the old version of the Holy Writ, we would have been taking the Kettle Trail in continuation. But for some reason, a reroute settled on the Ovenbird Trail. And I, for one, couldn't be more thrilled at this little outcome. But now we'll be coming to a colorful wetland. And take our leave of this fine little stream that seems to be a hold fast for an oven bird. Hummock wet meadow looming off over here. We'll be greeting it momentarily. Oh. This is the first time I've really try to go nuts tracking the foliage changes and I'm learning a bit about it. It's just convergence of conditions. Cold temperature seems to have fairly important role because I've noticed that the first places where there's color activity are like these wet maple swamps. Notice all that red. And that would make sense because they're in kind of a thermal sump where cold descending air hangs out in pockets while the uplands are somewhat warmer. Ah, another union with one of the internal Audubon trails. I'm in the Massachusetts Audubon Society's oldest property called Moose Hill in a part of Sharon, Massachusetts called Sharon. Huh, they're power tools. And we're Closing to the Hobbs Hill Loop. Well, and I turn, as I recall, let's see, 
<laughs> you can see that this is aligned. It's an old piece of cedar turned into a long-term post. The Hobbs Trail. <laughs> but uh, we'll be heading this way over a fairly elaborate boardwalk. See, we were on the Kettle Trail for a segment. They just swapped us out to Old Oven Burn. We came from that way, which will eventually lead to Plum Island. And we're heading this way, which isn't all that. Duxbury. <laughs> this is a really old and hardy nurse log. I guess this is where it came from. Pine maybe? Who knows? It's still got years of rotting ahead of it. So this is a fairly extensive boardwalk I discovered. And there you have all this lowland maple swamp just lighting up carousel of color. That's probably an old one. 